We're back with Money on Main Street's featured CEO of the week, Bill Corbett Jr. Bill owns PR firm Corbett Public Relations, and his clients have been featured in Business Week, the New York Daily News, and our print partner, LIBN. Welcome to our CEO sit down, Bill. It's great to be back. Great. So today we want to talk about press. Now, if you've gotten some positive press, how do you maximize it? And if you've gotten some bad press, well, how do you minimize that? Well, the most important thing is to be constantly seeking uh, PR coverage press, as you're saying. You want to be out in the media as often as possible and in as many diverse media outlets as possible. Whether, whether in your Long Island, How do you do that? Well, you, you approach them in a, in a couple of different ways. First, you have to think about what kinds of stories that media outlet is looking for and consistently reach out to them. You need to build relationships with people. You can't just call somebody up cold and expect them to uh, do something for you. You have to de build, uh, develop a rapport and let understand what they're looking for and provide it to them. Be topical. Present them ideas that are about topics and issues that are in the news, whether it's the Affordable Care Act or solar power, whatever is relevant. What do you find are home run topics? Well, right now, uh, security is a really big topic. I work with one of the Long Island's biggest uh, security firms. They do uh, video and security technology. It's called A Plus Security and Technology in Bayshore. Uh, FIOS has covered them several times in the past. They have great technology for school districts, and we've had unfortunate situations with Newtown um, and other incidents like the terrorist bombing up in Boston that have put security really in perspective. And this company is providing solutions, but they're also being able to provide expert information so people can understand what's happening out there when they did the facial recognition our experts were able to come in and give information now talk to me about the difference between word of mouth mm -hmm. generating buzz and social media so many companies have said oh I get my best clients through word of mouth but social media has become so important these absolutely days. I represent Remax of New York one of the biggest brands in real estate in New York State and I can tell you a lot of the top agents get a hundred percent of their business through referrals or word of mouth so that still works but social media, you know, social media has only been around for a little while, about seven, eight years. It's hard to believe that Facebook has only been around for seven, eight years. They have 1.1 1 .1 billion users, right? But social media allows you to take that word of mouth recognition and re uh, recommendations and amplify it. You can reach hundreds of thousands of people if you're on social media and you use it appropriately. You can get recommendations, referrals, and generate business. But what if I'm a little uncomfortable with using it toward generating clients? Well, like any form of marketing, I don't care if it's, it's PR or direct marketing or your website, uh, social media requires a plan. You need to have a plan of action on how you're going to approach it and how you're going to use the different uh, advantages that it puts before you and take advantage of them and use it to generate the activity that you need. And how do I know that it's been successful? You need to have a system by which you can uh, assess what you've done. For example, you can use LinkedIn and you need to know... Uh, one of your goals may be to connect with 100 more people a month. You can monitor that progress and see how well you're doing. And you want to see how many business leads you generate in two or three months. So there are ways to get feedback mechanism as part of your plan. Your plan needs to have strategies, goals, objectives, and a feedback mechanism. All right, let's shift gears. Do you buy into that uh, cliché? All press is good press? Um, I do not. I believe that negative press can kill and often will kill a business. You have a restaurant, for example, that may have a food poisoning issue. You may have a, a company that has an executive that's maybe done something illegal or tax evasion or something, and that can really damage the company's brand and potentially put it out of business. So, How I, do I turn that around? Well, you turn it around by being proactive in the beginning. You need to be constantly seeking positive press and building relationships with members of your community. We call that reservoirs of goodwill. So in case a bad situation happens, you know people at a media outlet, you know people in your community, and they'll come to your defense, or at least you can tell them the honest side of the story or your side of the story. And in 10 seconds, um, how would I do that? How would you, you would uh, say, you, say if a negative situation happened and there's a newspaper that you know is going to be covering it, reach out to the reporters who you've talked to in the past and say, hey, can I tell you my side of the story? Or at least can you help to find out a way to convey a message that doesn't hurt your business? Okay, great advice. Thank you so much.